time for the show We still don't know what car is to as a pole So sit back and relax and wiggle your toes It's a band and the baby, the band and the baby The band and the baby show Hello, Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to a new episode of the Ben and the Baby podcast. My name is Ben. And I'm the baby. And this is our show. Ben. Thank you so much for joining us today on this beautiful Friday afternoon. What day is it? Uh, it is 20- Friday, June 25th. 25th? Merry Christmas. Oh, I forgot you don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, I don't celebrate Christmas. I forgot because you're Jewish. Yeah, because yeah. I'm the Jewish one here. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so today is the day that... Um, Tyler, the creator, dropped his new album. Oh, yeah. I listened to that yesterday. I also listened to that yesterday. I, I tried to get on it, and Spotify was legitimately down. It was crashed. Spotify had crashed for you? Yeah. I tried. I was like clicking, and then I tried to get on it, and it was like, oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, I managed to do it. I managed to get on. Um, I had just gotten off the phone with uh, my friend Simon. And um, we were, we were both like we both hung up the phone to go listen to Tyler's album, and um, I couldn't get on it on my phone, but mm-hmm. I could on my iPad, mm-hmm. and so I went in on my iPad and I started listening, and then I used my phone for other things. But um, yeah, I I started. It was funny. I started listening to it, and I was like, eh, shit. And I went on to <laughs> his website, and I immediately bought a T-shirt. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. It's he sold like um. He sold a bunch of Call Me If You Get Lost, like, merchandise. Oh, cool. And there's a brown t-shirt that's so cool. And it, like, has the Call Me If You Get Lost logo on the front. And then it has, like, his, um, like, fake passport credentials on the back. Oh, okay. So that was pretty cool. But I went on the website originally to look for the vinyl because mm. I wanted to buy the vinyl. Yeah, that's fair. But it hasn't released yet. So. Can I can I give my official review of the album? Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Wait, should we ad- – maybe we should address, like, like how that – we're like we have bodies. Again. Oh yeah! So hi everybody, hey guys. We, we have bodies. For people listening not on YouTube right now, we are videoing this episode again for the second time ever. Yeah, and we have whole body things. We, I I have legs. You have legs. I have really long legs. You have really long legs. Isn't this crazy? I didn't know I had these. Did Me we make neither. this joke last time? I feel like we did. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm remembering now. You, <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. We definitely did. Um, we have. This is my basement. Anyways, yeah, we're in Babyface's basement, and it's really nice. We got some records up here. We got a, a Lego ship. We got a, a Lego. <laughs> um, that's a big bank theory. That's a big bank theory Lego, bank set. Theory Lego me, set. I don't know. Hold on. Let me get it. Oh God. Oh no. This is gonna be rough. Here, let's. Let me just. Are you gonna put it on the table or something? Yeah, we'll put it down here. C- come here. Um, look at this, this big bank theory set. Look at this. Uh, we got Bazinga Man on the couch. <laughs> uh, we got. Uh, I don't even know. It's really dusty. I haven't touched this thing in like so long. Yeah. But we'll put this here. We got uh, Pikachu railing Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, we got we got Pikachu and um, Donkey Kong getting down and on the center over yeah. here. Yeah. It's really uh, this cute. This is just I, I. This is just kind of like I found shit in my basement. Yeah. And I went. This is now our set. And of course, we've got Larry David <laughs> got joining Larry us here in the middle. Yeah. Because, because why not? He is the poster child of Ben and the Baby. I do have one more thing. This is my principal. I don't know how this was made, who made it, or how it got to my house. <laughs> but my principal has a cutout, like a big, like what are they called? Fat heads. Fat heads. Yeah. Made made of them, and it's in my house now. And this is what my principal looks like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it looks like his name should be Borlarski, and he's like Russian. It's Eric with a K, actually. Eric with a K. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's very Scandinavian, uh, but it's Eric with a K, and he has a giant fucking crease through his head. Yeah, he did get folded. I think I think I was at a party, and someone drunkenly kicked him in the face. <laughs> Yeah, you could see like the mark. <laughs> I was at a party and someone um, drunkenly kicked him in the face. So that's a f- I'll leave that there. I feel bad for Borlaski. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. This is this is it. Uh, this is my couch. Isn't it a comfortable couch? Hi, couch. Yeah, it's really nice. Is this new? No. Well, this is from my old. This is my old couch. Oh yeah, yeah. From up, from, from up on top. From my living room. Yeah. yeah. And then my my mother got a new couch. A new couch. After she bought more paintings. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Oh um, yeah, because the last episode we did painting reviews. That's did, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So We're not she, gonna have any old men walking dogs trying to join our podcast that's, this time. That is that really heartbreaking. That really stinks. Sense. That really yeah. stinks. I wonder what he's doing right now. I bet he's I bet he's hanging out with that dog. Probably. What do you think he's doing? I think he's inside of his house, maybe watching the game. Is there a game? 
It is Friday at like three in the afternoon, so probably not. I feel like he's watching tennis. I love tennis. <laughs> I started watching competitive badminton. Really? Just for fun. <laughs> yeah. God, that shit is so good to watch. Yeah. I love net sport watching. Yeah, net sports is great. I watched um, a five hour long video of a Wimbledon, a Wimbledon <laughs> championship full through. I did this. You are so weird. Willingly. I did this. I willingly. was here for the end of it. Were you there? I was there, yeah. No, that was a different video. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. <laughs> okay, to be fair, the one that you watched when I was in it, that was, I only watched like half of it. But this one I watched. All, like, start to finish, and I'm on another in one. In one sitting? No. Oh, God. This is over, like, two weeks. Oh, okay. Wow. But I, f- I finished, like, the last part, which was, like, two hours in one go. Yeah, I was, like, because for anybody wondering, uh, my Discord server, Oh yeah. there are some, if you don't know where my Discord server is, you should go to my my TikTok. It's in my bio. But um, we do have, like, it's specifically Andrew does have viewings of just random, very long things sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's a good time where we Som- just kind of like hang out. Sometimes it's trains. Sometimes it's fire. Sometimes it's tennis. Yeah, Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's whatever. You make fun of those little ball boys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Twinks. Okay, I'm going to talk about Wimbledon for a second. If you don't know, <clears throat> tennis is really prestigious for some reason uh, in, in <laughs> the UK. Yeah. And Wimbledon. We've talked about this, like how we? prestigious tennis is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wimbledon is this one specific type. And the I, I think I've talked about the ball boys before. They fuck me up. Like, <laughs> they got to do this, like, specific thing. They're always running around. They're always fucking getting They their, look, like, like, so stupid. <laughs> like, they look dumb. They look dumb as hell. But that's the point of them. Yeah. They, they, they have this, like, <laughs> like, they, they have to stick up their hands to receive. But when they have the ball, I wish I had a tennis ball here. They, like, stick up their hand completely like that, and then they... Chuck it. What freaks? It's weird. And then they always have to put their hands behind their backs. I wonder how much drama there is with those guys. Not much. I did watch a video about, like, the discipline that they have to go through. It's like army. Ooh. They have to go through, like, training. <laughs> Do they go through the same thing that the those beef eaters go through? What beef eaters? You know the guys that guard the the uh, the queen's house? Those are called beef eaters? Yeah, the guys with the big fucking hats. What about vegetarians? What about vegetarians? <laughs> they can't be a beef. They can't be a beef eater. No, I mean like that's what they're called. I don't you think can't protect the queen. I think there's some vegan beef eaters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello. I'm a vegan beef eater. Yes, hello. I'm a vegan beef eater. No, oh, I'm here talking to the queen about how I how I guard a palace. One beef, please. One beef, please. But I'm vegan, though. I feel like all of them are like extremely annoyingly proper British, and so it's like very like yeah. anyone's proper British. Everyone who they don't Britain's speak. That's the British. thing. Like they are not allowed to speak to people while yeah. they're on duty. Yeah. And so like the videos of people going up and like fucking with them is really funny because they're yeah. just like they are so like stone faced. There's only yeah. been a couple videos that I've seen where they've broken. Like, yeah. And I always think those are hilarious. But um, I feel like it would be so funny if one of them was like, you know, like conventionally very attractive, and so there were a bunch of women like going over talking to him, and he's like, he like breaks it, and he's like, "Hello, what are you doing here?" Hello, and they're all like, they're all like "Oh, oh, you're a pretty, bra- oh, oh, hey, you're his, pretty." He, he opens his mouth, he's just, no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, hello, Honestly. you look very good today. Yeah, they're like, "Woo," and he's like, <laughs> just like, like. Chainsaw teeth. <laughs> you look as like you would deserve a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. It like whistles a little bit. You deserve a kiss. You look as though you deserve, you deserve a kiss. kiss. Oh, God. You look as though you deserve a kiss. British, British people are so funky. <laughs> they're funky people. Yeah, they're funky. There's Ooh, only like. Smell sour like funky. Have you heard that? No. It's a clip of that guy. You know that guy that does the Among Us videos? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's a video of him going, like, he, like, s- takes a sniff of something from, like, one of his Among Us videos, and he's like, oh, that smells sour, like, funky. And th- people have, like, taken that clip and put it fucking everywhere. <laughs> and it's so funny. <laughs> have you seen that video of him at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> he, he like, is just there. Yeah. And he's just having a za. Yeah. And the the camera goes on. What does he say when the camera gets on him? What is he? I forgot. He's like legitimately funny. He's a funny guy. I very clearly it's fake. Yeah. There's no way it's real. Like there's no way he's 
he's that because you can even tell right. he's just like bullying at Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> and all of a sudden the camera goes on him and he's like, "Oh, 3 a.m." <laughs> and it's <laughs> it, it's very much for that. Oh my God, yo, those 3 a.m. videos are so goofy. They are. They're very clearly not at 3 a.m. That's what I like about it. I've watched some of those, like, <laughs> calling Among Us imposter at 3 a.m. And it's, like, on their phone, it's, like, 5 p.m. Can we just make one of those videos that's, like, it's that, but, like, it's just obviously during, like, day. Like, it's so <laughs> daytime. It's 3 in the morning. There's, like, traffic. Like, we, like one of us, like, eats shit and, like, it fa- the curtain falls down and it's broad daylight. And we're <laughs> just, like, oh. <laughs> it's funny. No, they don't even fucking hide it. They're just, like, it's 3 a.m. And it's clearly day out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's just like what guys we're going to be calling Thanos at 3 a.m. Let's see if he picks up. And then it's like that McDonald's like preset yeah. vocal thing that they put in toys. I am inevitable. Yeah. And you're like oh. Or or they just get like some voice actor to just do it. They pitch shift his voice down. Hello, this is Thanos. <laughs> it's not even a voice actor. It's just them. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Them again. Th- that what's that one guy who sort of he sort of started everything. He was like Among Us. That guy. Among Us. I watched the original video of that because I was really curious to like h- how it was. The phone was like 10 p.m. <laughs> at 3 a.m. Oh, we're gonna call Among Us imposter. Wasn't he the guy that also like uh he did that thing where he was like this is like this the imposter juice. And, like, he, like, would drink this shit and then, like, a terrible CGI animation of, like, an <laughs> Among Us character came up instead of oh, him. God. I don't know. Prob- I mean, probably. I don't know. YouTube is a really... I was just talking to somebody recently. YouTube, you know how, like, when you were younger, you would, like, find shit on YouTube that was, like, ew. Like, that's weird. Yeah. There was a couple videos that I remember watching that, like, freaked me out. Definitely. Yeah. And, like, it's just gotten worse. Mm-hmm. Like, if you type in a period in the search bar, the amount of suggestions for, like, channels in pure Arabic that just post, like, cursed haunted content Whoa. is really weird, and it's so easily accessible. What the like, fuck? I, I, somebody told me about this last night, and so I looked it up, and um, I did this really late at night, which, which wasn't a good idea, but I didn't regret it because I thought it was hilarious and I didn't get scared by it. But, like, don't do it. Don't do it if you don't want to get scared because um, it was, like, a bunch of TikToks of, like, dude, I found this shit covered in blood. And, like, it was, like, like a lot of it was real. And mm. I was, like, this is weird that this is a thing that I can easily access. That's terrifying. Yeah. I, um, oh, God. Some of the videos that scare me as a kid... I was I think I went onto YouTube when it was about when I was about like eleven. Yeah. Around there. And I watched Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. <laughs> oh. And Dude, I love those videos. Those are great videos. Those they're, are some really well done videos. They're well done, but when I'm a kid and I'm watching like ter- I didn't really like puppets. Mm. I remember watching The Dark Crystal. I think we talked about this. Oh yeah. The, the Dark, Dark Crystal. Crystal's fucking It's scary. Ugh. That's yeah. kinda where like puppets kinda came. I like the Muppets. I like yeah. Kermits. I, like, I mean, like, I know that Jim Henson was going for something with that, where yeah. he was like, I want to freak some people out. Oh, I mean, it was... Because there's dark. no way he didn't think about that. It's called the Dark Crystal. Yeah. It's dark. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, a... Ah, I hated it. But don't hug me, I'm scared. I just would get nightmares of the, the characters, like, walking into my room and being like... Row, row. <laughs> like, they're just toad. That's not a great idea. Yeah. They, one of them sounded like the Beatles. It was the, <laughs> it was the, big, it was the big red one. He was like, I don't know if I like this. Like, yeah, <laughs> he kind of sounded like I hate everything. He was always really hesitant. And he's like, "I'm friends with my dad." Hello, hello. He was British. Yeah, I think all of them were. Let's get creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were. They were. Yeah, no, they were, it was created in the UK. Yeah. Was I supposed to give my Tyler album a review? We t- oh yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> yeah, Tyler okay. album review. Here's my. I forgot. <laughs> we kind of got. I don't side- know how we got sidetracked, but we, we talked about life. Yeah. Business. Business. Creativity. Oh, I gotta talk about my drive here too. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll do that. Yeah, you give it, give the review, and then I'll. Okay. Have we been timing this? Okay. Yes. Cool. Just wondering. I don't want to be going for like four hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> um. I mean, uh, I wouldn't complain, but. I've we got did a four-hour podcast. I've got no one else to be. I'm touching Pikachu's ear. All right, continue. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. <clears throat> the title of the create. What is it called? <laughs> uh, it, call me if you get lost. It's a good start. Call me if you get lost. I liked it. Um, all right. So, how was your driving trip? <laughs> Just kidding. 
<laughs> that joke landed like a fucking it was, Hindenburg. It was great. That was a bad was, delivered joke. No, it was funny. It was funny. It was fun. Okay, so I liked Tyler's stuff before. Uh huh. I liked Sunflower. Give an example of an album that you liked before, like Flower Boy. Flower Boy. I was called Sunflower. It's Flower Boy. Flower Boy. I don't listen to Tyler too much, but I like Flower Boy. Yep. I like that stuff. Um, Igor, I liked the atmosphere. Yeah. It set a tone, and not uh, albums. I think that's the goal. When you're making an album and not just like a regular song, you have the opportunity to make sort of a, a landscape with your music. Yeah. And I think that de- definitely Igor had a very unique landscape. I enjoyed how experimental Igor was. Right. It was really experimental, yeah. and it just everything sounded like it was a part of the same album. Yeah. What I liked about this one was that it was like a hybrid of both his old stuff, Flower Boy, mixed with like the drill. I'm not too crazy on the drill, but I did really like the sort of older stuff. that I forgot the the nine-minute-long song one. The nine-minute-long song is called... Um, I think it's two songs. It's Sweet and uh, When You Asked Me to Dance or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah it, it was is. It is um, sweet and thought you wanted to dance. That right. one is really good. The thought you wanted to dance part is really nice because it goes into like we were talking about it, like a bossa nova reggae type yeah. kind of thing. And um, I just really liked the way that like he, I missed what I missed in Igor was um, Tyler's lyricism, and he brought it back like tenfold in this. And like, like specifically the the one lyric that I was talking to Simon about that is like my favorite lyric and one of like in his albums so far, is the um I called Drizzy and told him I had a milli for him, and that's in reference to so he has a um a festival that he hosts it's like a big music festival called Camp Flogna, mm-hmm. and um he invited Drake also known as Drizzy to Camp Flogna one year to be like a headliner and he got booed off stage. Oh shit! But he like called Drake up, told him he had a million dollars for him if he did Camp Flogna, so he <laughs> did that. But then he also is that is also in reference to Millie Bobby Brown, because yeah. Drake like f- definitely flirted with Millie Bobby Brown, even though he was like not supposed to. <laughs> and so like it's a double entendre Yo. diss on Drake that is, I think is so funny. That's nuts. Yeah, I don't listen to lyrics. That's that's kind of <laughs> what I learned. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like a big lyrics guy. Yeah, I listen to the melody stuff. So when I was listening, that's why I like the the older stuff because it's more focused on the backing beat. Right, and this was too. Yeah, it was melodic, but then also like had some yeah drill ideas, and I like that. Yeah. So album, so I would say for me, like a seven and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a solid nine. At a Nine. Time. Okay. Yeah, I would understand that. Yeah. If I was more of a Tyler the Creator fan, I would definitely I could consider this to be one of my favorite albums. Yeah, I, it's definitely one of my favorite albums by him because you can tell that for one he he's like finally figuring out who he wants to be yeah. in music, and like I, him as a person himself as well because like his whole um, Tyler Baudelaire thing yeah. is. Um, it's it has a lot to do with like how his dad left when he was younger and so he's always hated his last name and so him finding what he wants his like label to be as right. Tyler Baudelaire is like a really a really big step in like a change for him. Yeah, that's cool. And so I think that's super cool. I appreciate that the music nowadays has more like sort of background to it. Yeah. Like all that stuff and like because it feels it feels more personalized. Right. People relate to their the, their favorite rappers because of the like the stories that they and they all know the stories. Yeah. And it's it's kind of the same sort of thing with with me with jazz musicians. Like you know Miles Davis, crazy guy. Yeah. And you do a lot of research on him and you realize like his music was sort of everything that he did. And John Coltrane like he pretty much never put his saxophone down. And yeah. Like in school he was always. You know, tooting his horns and everything like that. So I don't know. I think Tyler the Creator is doing doing good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would not I be surprised so. if this won a Grammy. Yeah, I think I, I. I mean, you know, he he did win one for uh, Igor. So if he won one for Igor. Then I have a. a I have a feeling strong feeling he won one for this one. Either yeah. something about the production of it because the production was really good. I really liked the mixing of it. The, it was just really good. Yeah. Um, or even just best rap album. I could see that being. Yeah. Um, I know you were talking about um, musicians, and this just kind of reminded me of something um, before I get to the part where I'm talking about my drive here. Um, do you know the story of Robert Johnson? I don't even know who that is. So I re 
this resurfaced in my brain because my sibling and I are rewatching the TV show Supernatural. Do you know? Uh, I do know, you know of this. Sh- the, the, I know the of show. The show yeah. So basically, yeah, it's a show about like ghosts and shit. And um, one of the episodes they're talking about deals with the devil. And um, they, I think it's interesting that like whenever they get the opportunity, they bring stuff that like is actually like a theory of something that happened into the show. And so they bring up Robert Johnson. And um, Robert Johnson was a real guy that lived from May 8th, 1911 to 1938. Okay. And he was a blues guitarist known as like one of the greatest ever. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because he literally like out of nowhere just like became the greatest. Like, he was pretty bad, and everybody knew it. And, like, he was in the blues scene of, I think, New Orleans. And um, then, like, all of a sudden, he, like, came out of the woodwork as, like, one of the greatest of all time. And he was just, like, so good. And um, people were trying to come up with reasons why. And, the like, all of his songs have, like, correlation to the theories. Because, um, yeah, according to legend... As a young man living in Missi- in Mississippi, rural Mississippi, Johnson had a tremendous desire to become one of the greatest blues musicians of all time. Of all time, and so um, John was instructed to create to bring his guitar to a crossroads and in an actual place, like it gives the location at midnight, and um, there he was supposed to meet. There he was to have met a large black man who was known as the Devil which is kind of weird, but um, <laughs> who took his guitar and turned it. Um, the devil played a few songs and then returned it the guitar to Johnson, giving him the mysterious instrument. This story is the deal with the devil crossroads. And um, so it talks about like how this, it, there's like a place that you can go that is like this crossroads mm-hmm. that like has in the middle of it, like the crossroads from the deal. And it's like it's this whole thing that like people have made into a tourist attraction, but um, a lot of his songs correlate to this theory. Like he has a song called "Running from the Devil," and he has a song called um, "Like." There's there's a bunch of them that are like really weird and like have like some uh, links to the theory. But then he died at the age of like thirty because uh, let me let me go into like his death because there's a bit on Wikipedia about it. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So like he, he like gave his guitar to the devil, and then like the devil was like, <laughs> and then yeah. he, g- he gave it back, and then and then he was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, okay, so Johnson died in, in 1938 at the age of 27. God, which means that he's a member of the 27 Club. Again, wait, is that a thing? Yeah. I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, so the loop. there's a ton of musicians that have died at the age of 27. Hopefully me soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was but a like, joke. But like Kurt Cobain died at the age of 27. Oh. Um, I can tell you about the 27 Club too if you want to learn about that. Charlie Parker died at the age of 35. So. All right, nerd. Um, He's not Remember the 27 Club? I've heard that. I didn't know what that meant, though. I his, thought it death, was... his death was um, not reported publicly. Oh. He merely disappeared from historical record. It was not until almost 30 years later that a Mississippi-based musicologist researched Johnson's life and found his death certificate, which listed only a date and a location, but no official cause of death. Oh, my God. That's spooky. He got taken by the devil. Yeah, and so, like, the thing wasn't supernatural. They, like, tied it into, like, this whole deal with the Devil Crossroads mm-hmm. thing where, like, they had, like, the two stars, like, found this crossroads, and it turned out that, like, three people ten years before they got there made deals and started mysteriously dying the same way that Johnson did. Oh, God. And so that's how they got onto it. Um, but it was, it's it's really interesting the way that they um, they tied it in with the actual story. Now, let me tell you about the 27 Club really quick. 27 Club. I've heard it before. I just didn't know what it meant. Yeah. I, I'm like so out of the loop with that. Who? I'm trying to think who died at 27 other than Kurt Cobain and this guy. I'll tell you right now because it's in this Wikipedia article. Mm. Um, the 27 Club lists is a list of uh, consisting mostly of popular musicians, act, artists, and actors who died at the age of 27. Um, although the claim of a statistical spike 
for death in musicians at this age has been um, repeatedly disproven by research. It remains a cultural phenomenon documenting deaths of celebrities and um, other people of status. And so let me identified members of the 27 Club. I'll go to the more recent ones. Um, Let's see. Amy Winehouse died at the age of 27. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah. There's like a ton. Uh, Kurt Cobain died at the age of 27. Um, who else? I mean, like, there's a huge list, but a lot of them That's are like nuts. people that you don't really know. Um, Fat Pat was some guy. Dude, yeah, Kurt Pat's Cobain. Cousin. Um, Chris Austin. Jimi Hendrix, yeah. Um, Chris Bell, freaking, um, a bunch of people, a bunch. Whoa. of people. Jim Morrison, that's nuts. Janis Joplin, who is yeah, that? Yeah, Jimi Hendrix. J- you don't know Janis Joplin? No, I know Scott Joplin. Okay, buddy. Um, Rock and R- Rock and Robin Roberts. Is that his? That's a really good name. No, Rock and. Do Do you think he made Johnny Rockets and R- Red Robin? Maybe. And then they, it's like a sort of like Nomeo and Juliet situation where they <laughs> split and then to two different businesses. There was somebody that recently died at the age of 27 and has been put into the 27 Club. Who was it? What about any of those rappers that died? Um, well, I mean, they're all like kind of young. Like one of them was 19. Who was 19? Was that Lil Pump? 19. W- Lil Pump hasn't died. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 I thought it was Mac Miller, but no, he died at the age of 26. Oh, so close. So close. That's that's insane, though. Even that, it, it's that close. Yeah, no, there's a lot of people, and it's, like, weird. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's, Crazy. it's, it, it, there's, like, a whole thing with, like, that conspiracy theory about, like, wh- why that is a, th- a theory itself. Interesting. Um, but, yeah. So, we did kind of accidentally get into a little bit of conspiracy theories here with. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, let's, let's change. What, what was your ride? Okay, so I think I saw a dead body driving home. It was scary. <laughs> and I think what happened was, so I, I was driving and I was like, why is all the all the cars stopped up here? And um, I slowly started going through and, you know, I noticed that cars were going around an ambulance. And I'm like, oh, shit, oh, there's an man. ambulance. And um, somebody was just carrying, like, a whole uncovered body on in a gurney to oh, this ambulance. Okay, the way you made that sound was like, it was just, like, over the fucking shoulder. It was like, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No. This guy's dead. <laughs> no, like it was like a it was like a whole person and like they had blood on them. I was like, "Ah, what the fuck is going on?" They had on? blood on them? Yes. I was like, "Why did you cover this?" Okay, so either either they're fucking dead <laughs> yeah. or they're really hurt. They're really You hurt. probably get on the news. If they're that bad, if it's bloody. Okay, here's the news here's the news note. News if note. it's bloody, news note. If it's bloody, on the news. If it's not bloody, not on the news. Yeah, that's true. Old man has a stroke, not on the news. Man cuts well, his I mean, fucking like, hand off it depends on, on the news. It depends on what old man it is. Okay, if it's fucking... Who just died recently that was old? Prince Philip. I was thinking Prince Philip. <laughs> Prince Philip's like, oh, he's dead. Everyone's like, finally. But if... <laughs> <laughs> Prince Philip killed Princess Diana. But if Prince Philip was like, ah, beans, I cut my fingers off. The news. That, that would also be on the news. Well, because yeah, he's important. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's say, let's just say, like, Joe Schmo from down the street. Joe Schmo. Fucking stabs himself because he was cutting carrots for dinner. <laughs> Joe, like, chop, chop. Joe Schmo's oh, God. chopping himself and just, like. Yeah. Chop, chop, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Chop, chop, whoops. Yeah. So he chop, chop, whoops. And. Do you ever think about stabbing yourself? No. Sometimes. Because <laughs> I definitely do, like, a lot. I think about what it feel like. I don't think about doing it. Oh, okay. Do you? <laughs> Only sometimes. Wh- I'm like, what if I did that? Like, it's not usually like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like a, there's a knife here. What if I just like, you know, how would that? Sometimes it's, t- I'll like look at it like a really sharp knife and I'll be like, I want to feel how sharp this is. <laughs> And I've th- I have been like making like a sandwich. Apparently, apparently my family I didn't know about this until later in life. But apparently, when I was homeschooled, my family knew another family that had a kid that was like very, very obviously like psychopathic, and um, 
because like he would like step into the middle of roads and like almost get hit by cars and his mom was always like what is wrong with you and he was like I just want to know what death feels like no thanks like he would just say stuff like that and apparently like she would find him like cutting himself just to like feel it like oh, what the boy. fuck oh god yeah, that's scary. And like he, I, I remember. I didn't put it. I didn't put two and two together. But I remember finding him like smacking squirrels with shit. Oh god, yeah, that's the first step. They, yeah, you, you kill animals, and then it's like these aren't enough, and then you right. keep killing people. Right, that's the thing. Yeah, he's There's gonna. Um, if he's not a murderer, then I don't know what is. Damn. Maybe, maybe, maybe these are murderers right here. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mr. DK and Pikachu. Can you guys stop? It's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, guys, this is PDA. This is PDA. Larry and I, <laughs> we got friends today. I just realized we got the whole cast of The Big Bang Theory. Can you stop it? <laughs> just loving on him. I'm just talking about the friends that we're making. Just You're making out with one of our friends. We got the whole cast of The Big Bang Theory, Bazinga. Can you, I'm taking him away. We've got, Larry! We've got Donkey Kong. We got Pikachu. We got Larry. We got my principal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just look like a bunch of wackos. <laughs> Dude, you wanted to get a fucking crock pot. <laughs> There's a crock pot over there. Don't the show it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just Don't like this. Show. It's Don't this, show it. this crock pot that my like sister got for her birthday or something. And yeah. um, yo, can you stop abusing him? I'm fixing him. He is my lover. He's our lover. Polygamy. <laughs> Polygamy. Uh, the, the <laughs> no. <laughs> The the crock pot is just like this thing, and when we, we were get like, a we're gonna pot. get you just go. That's my crock pot dance. Want to see? You want to see my crock pot dance? Yes, please. <clears throat> that looks pretty goddamn similar to my crock pot well, dance. This is gonna be awful for people who listen to on Spotify. <laughs> Hold on, listen to this. That's gonna sound so bad. <laughs> all, they're, all they're gonna guys, hear, you guys. <laughs> look at here. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck! You don't fuck off. He just threw Pikachu. Dude. Why the fuck you do that? Don't do it. Let's see how you God like it. Damn. Let's see how you like it. I threw Donkey Kong. It just feels like there's mi it's missing something. <laughs> I know. We there we go. There we go. Uh, Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory right Big in the Bang center Theory. of that table now. That, even, that doesn't even look centered. Stop. There we go. Okay, now it's centered. I don't even think. I don't know, whatever. All right. It doesn't matter. All right. It doesn't matter. We just got into a lot of physical comedy. We did. I don't We're not used to it. Well, this is like a new thing. I know. The listeners are not going to be pleased. <laughs> well, well, okay. Well, the listeners aren't. If you're watching on YouTube, hey. Yeah. If you're, watching, content, if you're watching on YouTube, you're the best. Premium content. If you don't know, we have a YouTube channel, Ben the Baby. You can look it up. Yeah. We it's got, like it, four videos. It's got, it's got like four videos and like two sub subscribers. Yeah. So we, some, we got some. Subscribers. I apparently recently hit the YouTube for you page suggestion page. Oh, one of my videos got like a thousand views. You post on YouTube? I posted a single cover of "Look Who's Inside Again" from uh, Bo Burnham's special because somebody asked me to post the TikTok that I posted onto YouTube, and it got w so much more attention than I thought it was going to. Yeah, it almost has two thousand views now. That's pretty good. I, it's <laughs> I didn't make any videos like that. It's got a lot of things. It's got eight dislikes. I feel like a god. Eight dislikes. Yeah. Oh yeah, because TikTok you don't get dislikes. You only get likes. Yeah. You can't see when the negatives, when the negatives roll in. Yeah, I've got two hundred and forty followers now. You mean subscribers? Subscribers. Yeah. Whoops. See, that's what it looks like when you type in a period. Oh, whoa. It's like full on that's like windings. It's not even, <laughs> that's not even Arabic. Yeah. It's just fucking. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, speaking of driving, I got a job at DoorDash. Oh, yeah. That's. That is. Okay, if you're looking for a side hustle, I definitely would recommend it because I made a lot of money from one five hour shift. And although it's a lot of driving, and yes, you have to account for gas, uh, it's pretty good go to like a local city or whatever and like fucking go for it you know what's crazy i had the weirdest order so there's this movie theater oh shit we've got 200 subscribers almost 300 subscribers i'm dating the baby sorry okay keep you're talking distracting it's fine so okay you can order pretty much if you're signed up for doordash you can do any restaurant pretty much and so near me there's this local movie theater that sells food um, as well as the movie. So, like, 
you know, you'll, you'll be sitting there. Is it called Chunkies? It's called Chunkies. Is it really? Yeah. You got? Did you DoorDash oh, somebody? Oh, 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 <laughs> chunkies. Uh, so yeah, the place is called Chunkies, which is an awful name, but whatever. It's not the nicest place. It's very dingy. It is kind of. Uh, if, dun- if you've been to a Chunkies, you know what the fuck we're talking about. I think there's three locations, and they're all in New Hampshire. It's like a New Hampshire. Oh really? I thought it was like a big thing. No. Oh it's, shit! It's a, it's a local thing. Yeah, it's like you sit. Let me let me put this into perspective I was for you. Literally just explaining it, but it's fine. Okay. All right, whatever. Here, give me a, toss him. Sauce me this monkey. <laughs> no, I have it. I've got a so, monkey. All right, so okay, you go to the pretty much you go to the movie theater. T- t- tickets are so cheap. You go in like the middle of the day. This is like an afternoon movie screening time. They do, do evening stuff. So I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it. I don't want to hear that. And they do an afternoon movie. I'm macking on Donkey that Kong. Been, that has been in my basement for fucking 20 years. <laughs> you don't want to be making out with them. Still macking on Donkey Kong. Um, so you you get you get in, you order your food. It's like a deep. restaurant. Like you have a waiter and everything. But then after the the movie starts and you're just like eating food. The food's fine. It's not good. I, I think no one goes. Can you fucking stop? <laughs> God. All right, damn, I'm done. You, I'm you done. Go, I'm you stay, go, stay down. You don't, stay down. you don't go to Chunky's for a good meal. You go, no, you, you go to watch a fucking movie. You go to watch a movie, but the thing is, is their projectors aren't that good, and like there's kids running around, so it's not that great. But it's all right. Also, they're all of their um, food meal items are named after like named specific... after movies. It's really funny, actually. Yeah, what's like what, like um, okay. there's one called uh, Kevin Bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, the Kevin Bacon burger. Yeah, there's um. A whole lot of love lava cake or something like yeah, that. Yeah, love me tenders. Love me, t- love me tenders. Uh, yeah, you know shit like that. So I they're got, they're pretty clever puns. I'll give it to them. I was I was driving around that area and I got an order for one thing, and it was the Adam Sampler, <laughs> and it was <laughs> it's like this like sort of it's Tyler like this, liked that one. It's the sample. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sample pack for like their appetizers or whatever, like whatever. It's called the Adam Sampler. Yeah. And I I got it. I picked it up. I was the only. I one didn't I know you could it. order food. Fucking me neither. <laughs> the food's not that good. Like it's crazy. <laughs> so I picked it up. I I dr- and I dr- started driving. It was like down the street. Yeah. And it's I go to a fucking elementary school. And it's no one's there, and like I'm like, oh, what the fuck. And so I park, and I'm like, where do I fucking go? There's, like, s- the sprinklers are going. There's no cars in the parking lot. What the I'm like, fuck? where do I go? I looked at the instructions. It just says, hand it to me. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> Dude, and I, just give it to the school. So, yeah. <laughs> the school ordered I, it itself. It's sentient school. Yeah. The Adam Sampler. So I texted the guy, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, this is DoorDash. Like, where the fuck do I go? And he, this guy, who looks like he came straight out of fucking Cobra Kai, comes out with, like, the sleeveless, like, black hoodie. And he's, like, he walks down. And I'm, like, hey, are you, I forgot his name, like, Michael or whatever. And he, he's, like, yeah. I'm, like, here's your meal. He goes, thanks. Appreciate it. And then he walks back into the school. That dude is squatting in that school. I, it's so, it looked like he woke up, like, 15 minutes ago. And he was, like, I could go for an Adam Sampler. I would I would understand if they're maybe like doing like a Chunkies movie night, like let's let's set up our own Chunkies like. It's thing. just a dude. That that's kind of sad. But it's one Adam Sampler. <laughs> that's kind of sad. Like I have so many questions. What was he doing there? Why did I deliver to his school? Yeah, I want to order DoorDash and just order like one meat stick from Seven Eleven and just <laughs> like. <laughs> I'll sometimes like look at their order and I'll be like, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like it's 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 kind of funny what people order and like oh my god I had to do like a twenty minute drive with fucking wings, Jesus Christ I was so tempted to pull over and fucking snack I didn't. You're you're a good one because I know that people do that. Yeah, they do. Oh, well, a lot of places like seal it up, like so that it was like tied up. That's but nice. I would I would totally if I was really fucking hungry I would consider, but I don't want to do that. I, I mean, there's some stuff that you can get for, like you could get your own meal while you're there. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing is, DoorDash is, like, normally it's ready when you get there. Oh, so, yeah. like, you, you'd be like, I got a DoorDash for this guy, and then they fucking give it to you, and you leave. And then I remember I was getting extra ketchup for these wings, and the guy was like, can I help you? And I was like, fuck, I gotta go. Because he thought I was, like, gonna snack into it or whatever the fuck. Yeah. But I was just taking condiments for the guy. For the... You could just order ahead yourself, too. <laughs> I'd just DoorDash myself. You could just DoorDash yourself. <laughs> what would the address be? My car. Yeah. You could just put your address in the lie. 
conning, yeah. conning DoorDash into making yourself DoorDash so that you make money off of your own DoorDash. Well, you don't make too much money. Like, yeah. for, per order, you make, like, maybe five to eight bucks. That's crazy. I made $11, and that was, like, a 20-minute drive. Um, but that's pretty good. DoorDashing is fun. I, I, I liked it a lot. I got to see a lot of cool places in, around. That's awesome. Um, yeah, you get a lot of f- familiarity for your space. Yeah, and 100%. it's... 100%. Uh, the way I did it, if you're wondering if there are any strategies for door dashing, um, I... Uh, here's Strat for say. the dash. Go to, like, a populated area, obviously. Like, I went to a city. Um, and find, like, sort of a place, like a parking lot, that's right in the middle of everything. And then just sort of hang out there and park. And pretty much whenever you're done with an order and heading around, don't just drive around the streets. Go back to that city and circulate around. Pretty much when I did that, I, I set my parking lot up to a place where it was like right in the middle of fucking everything. So I got all the orders. And I didn't even – I wasn't able to park in that parking lot at all before I got a new order. So just hang around. Get a friend. Bring a friend around. Yeah, you can bring friends. That's cool. They don't, they're not going to be like, you're not allowed to not speak to anybody. And uh, I love that. Yeah, because at work, like for me, at my work, which I'm not fully allowed to mention um, – I just kind of like don't get to talk to people. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. No, a funny. lot of a lot of jobs they don't give you that independence. Like they, they very much sort of say like, you know, you have to work with these specific. Can you fucking? That's that's Sheldon Bazinga. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm making out with Bazinga. You've made out with everybody on this couch. This is taint- except for you. This is tainted. Except for you. Except for you. Except for me and Pikachu. Except for you, we got we've we've been doing this for forty two minutes. How did you know that? Did you just He gave me a time on his little scribble. Oh. On his little scribble on his phone. Oh, shit. Good um, strat, Tyler, thank you. This thing I wanted Also to- Tyler's behind the camera. Uh, you kinda saw him in the last episode that we did. Hey, do you wanna take a seat on the couch? Do you wanna say hi? You wanna get yeah, interview? come say hi. Let's get Larry out of the way here. We'll get Larry up here. Uh, I don't know if you've met. Should we should we should we center this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah, you for so, so being thanks. such a such a good camera center. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for your amazing camera work today in this episode so yeah. far. Okay. Um, well, this is Tyler, everybody. Hey, uh, you want to use my microphone for a second? Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, why are you so much taller right now? I'm on, like, the hump of the couch, you know? The hump? Oh. I'm pulling. I'll go, I'll go off the hump. Go off the hump? So it'll be the same height. Go over there so it's more centered. Okay, well, how's your day been going? It's, it's been, you know, it's been a day. It's been all right. Okay, well, what'd you do? Uh, I got up, and uh, I went back to bed, actually. Did you? I did, and what? I got up again. What time did you wake up? I woke up at 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> okay, what time did you, go when you fell asleep <laughs> yeah, again? So what? I, I got up at 7, all right? Yeah. And it was like 8 o'clock. I went back to sleep, got back up like 10 and then I just started doing some music shit, you know, for... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind no, him. No, I'm here. Yeah. Don't yeah. mind him. He's just started doing his own thing. Yeah. Um. Well, what is... Wh- well, if you had to say anything to the camera, to yeah. the people at home... Uh-huh. You have to put closer to your face. Yes, yeah. Wh- what would you say? You know, I would just say... I think that the best possible thing I could say is to make sure to join... The Ben Morton Discord, you know, it's a really great place, really great community for, you know, a lot of different people. You know, it's the best Discord server on Discord. So, yeah, that's, that's you know what I like yeah. with that with you, yeah, how active you are. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm there every day. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. Yeah, if you were wondering, he's not. Jeez, that was so loud. Did you? Sorry, lin- I just need to make sure that the microphone picks me up. No, it's yeah, <laughs> I, you. Did you have fun up there? <laughs> okay, cool. Take a seat. Um. I don't. I had a lot of fun. I climbed up on the back of the couch. Yeah, they could see you because of the camera. Uh, well, for the listeners that aren't uh, watching, uh-huh. I climbed on the back of the couch. Okay, Larry, you sly dog. Okay, Larry, here, wanna, you want to move? You want to move over there? Can you stop? Can you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, I got all my friends. This is a mess. This looks like I just I'm ten years old and I'm playing with my fucking toys. Yeah. I got my friend. I this is so bad. Yeah. It is bad. You're bad. Why are you sitting like that? You're bad, kid. You're trash. You're we're, trash. We're having, we're having a good conversation about DoorDash. Yeah. And now here we are and you are I'm upset. only I'm only a little upside down. 
You're mainly upside down. <laughs> fuck is fuck is you talking about? You're like forty five degrees. I'm like one hundred degrees. No. C- Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of degrees. I'm like warm. You are warm. You look warm. You're gonna kill yourself. By doing that, you're gonna die. Well, that's that's cool. I no, guess it's not cool. I mean, you're the one who wants to stab himself. I want to. <laughs> I wonder how this sounds <laughs> to people. I really don't know. I I, I feel like my voice is not really like that screwed up. So I think it's fine. If listen, you can't see this, if you're watching this on the car. Ben is completely Anyways. fucking horizontal. Horizontal. It's a oh, it's a whole video. I'm back up. He's back up. I'm back up. No, he's lounging. No, I'm no, I'm I'm at lounge, lounge central. I'm in the lounge seat. Over. Um. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> really I think all the blood it. rushed to my brain and killed oh, my brain cells. So now I, I cannot. You just I cannot a, think. You just did a whip it. Oh. I'm just a wee bit screwed up in the skull. Do you know what a whip it is? I just yeah. Yeah, I do. It's when you <laughs> you take one of those uh you suck in a whipped cream container. You don't do it through your nose. Did you just gesture through to your nose? No, I did that. Oh, okay. I thought you went. You s- no, I did that. Yeah, you taking a whip uh I was with a kid that thought he did one of those and he definitely didn't. He just ate the whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he no, you're supposed to sort of <laughs> You're supposed to suck it in. You're supposed to inhale. What are they? Yeah, because it's like it's like nitrous oxide, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I think that's interesting. Like the fucking drugs people come up with. Yeah, they just go. I'm gonna eat some whipped cream and suck a little harder now. I think I think that uh, that one was like accidentally discovered. But yeah. then you know people actually made like cans of nitrous oxide. Like that's like a thing. Oh well, that's good. You can like get. I feel well then. Oh, that's so dumb because I feel like the whipped cream is a little extra treat. Yeah, like you're getting high and stuff, but, but it's so little for so much of a can of whipped cream. That's true, I guess. Yeah, but again, a little treat, a little treat. It's true. It's true. It's a little treat. So it, can I get that? <laughs> can I have that? Thanks. Damn. Christ. <laughs> oh, hello. we're just finding shit on my fucking oh, basement. Oh, hello, hello, poo. <laughs> oh hello Pooh. Winnie the Pooh's now entered the mix. Um Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, how do you think who was the guy that wrote that? I don't know. Roll doll? <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Let me look it up. I think it was. Hey Siri, who how who wrote Winnie the Pooh? No one really thinks about the writers of T V shows. Like uh, kids T V shows. Carter Crocker. Nope, that's not him. Hey Siri, who uh, wrote Winnie the Pooh? Uh, Winnie the Pooh in springtime. It, it's Winnie I don't think it's gonna come up with one person. It's not like a Mister Rogers situation, where, you know, he made it. Yeah, like it's a character. I guess you could look up the books. In, uh, based off of the three stories inspired by A. A. Milan, Milan, Milan. Mil, Milne, Milne, Milne. A A Milne. That name does not ring a bell no, that, at all. That, that that does Milne, Milne. I've I've heard Milne. I know someone's last name is Milne. They didn't write Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, that. I swear it was somebody else. Nah, I mean, who cares? Yeah, I don't really think anybody cares actually. But ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Winnie the. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Have you been watching um Loki? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I like love it. Loki. I think I'm gonna talk about all three of those series that they've done. One Division, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki. Yeah, A E E E H Shepherd and A A Milne. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um I talk about them. I think I didn't like WandaVision that much. I, in my opinion, I think Loki is the best one they've done. I I agree with that. Cause it's so it's so different and so well t- like its tone is so perfect. WandaVision for what it is. WandaVision tried to do something and my entire question the entire time was like fucking why. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean like why the fuck did they do that? Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I liked 
it was really serious, and I didn't really care about the um, characters at all, like too much. I didn't, I didn't really like the um, the villain too much, the British girl. Yeah, she was Carly. I think his name was. I'm Carly. Yeah, I think, I think that there was too much going on with that. Because yeah. I don't really think that like because John Walker was a whole other thing. Yeah. And that, I think, should have been the main storyline. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Because, like, that whole, like, movement of, like, the Flag Smashers was, I feel like, extremely unnecessary. Yeah. And I think um, if there was something around that, that would be way cooler. But, of course, they couldn't because they want recognizability, even though they don't have to try for anything because it's Disney. Right. But... I also I liked the message of Falcon Winter Soldier. I I think I liked the message better than WandaVision. Oh, one hundred percent. I think that them them taking the jump to make Captain America a black man was this very smart. I yeah, I think I like that's why I liked the message. I think yeah. that was pretty cool. It it just it's it makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's to the comics, which I like that they're not trying to screw shit up just because they don't think the like public will like it. Right. Like I, it they're sticking to the comics, which I'm happy about. And I think with Loki I like the wit. I think the wit's great. Fucking Owen Wilson's Owen Wilson's the character. best character so far in the show. Um, like I, I like the way that Tom Hiddleston is playing this version of Loki, because I think it's cool that he got the chance to reinvent the character yeah. after the whole events of like Ragnarok and like yeah. the end of that and like how his character died. Like I think him making him like this like new nerdy version that like likes knowing about things. Right. Is I think really interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know. I liked. I also like the plot. I think it's cool and the time because time travel is always like a hard to do. Yeah, because it's like oh well, now. I and this way, this, this this way that they're doing it is really interesting. It's smart. Yeah, and that's cool. Um, I'm gonna okay. Spoilers for episode three. Have you seen it? I have. Okay. It did did it did just come out? I know. Spoilers for episode three for anybody that didn't watch it in the past three days. You can skip to the end of this episode because we're like two minutes away from being done. Yeah. Um, Loki being bisexual is very happy. Oh and good yeah, for me. that was interesting. I I was watching, and um, he said like both, and I went what? And then and then she acknowledged it. That was the thing. Is like I think it's really cool that like not only is that one version of Loki bisexual, but all of them are. Yeah, like that was to confirm that like there is not a single version that is not bisexual, which yeah. I think is so funny. Yeah, that's cool. And then, um, I, you know, I always I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it when Marvel fucking shoves a message down people's throats. I hate that. Yeah. And I think with this... This was so subtle. It was great. I yeah. liked how subtle it was because it wasn't like, I'm a bisexual man. Yeah. Like, it, like it they was... didn't make a big deal out of like, him kissing a dude or something. Yeah. Like, it was just like a very subtle, like, yeah, yeah I like I'm men. doing this. And that's... I like men. That in itself, it being so subliminal is just, uh, I think, a, a way towards like sort of normalizing. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a big jump in the right direction. Right, because I there was that one like shot in... End game, when all the women like were like, I'm I'm a woman. We've done it right. before. That was very forced. I was like, I was like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, we get it. There's women in the Marvel universe. You guys passed the back belt test. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, <sighs> they were so happy about it too. They were so proud of themselves. They're like, we have women. Like, okay. Oh, wow. Right. Whoa, all crazy. Right. Cool. We get it. Weirdo. We don't have to put that down our face. But I liked that. Yeah. I don't know. I think the effects with <laughs> the effects with um Pooh's looking real good right now. Yeah, he, yeah, he you cutie man, he you cutie. Space, look at his tummy. I've had this one since I was a kid. I was gonna say it looks very it looks very well loved. I had this in two thousand two. Did you sleep in a bed with this? Probably. Okay. Whoa! Oh, don't. It smells like Andrew. This probably smells like dust. <laughs> I was right. Oh, oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh. Yeah, so that's what Andrew, that's what Andrew smells like. All right, guys, that's what that's gonna do it for this yeah, episode the of Ben and the, the Baby. Yeah, that's the end of the fucking episode. Yeah, let's sniff a bear. Oh, I'm gonna sniff a bear. Yeah, end of podcast. That's the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this uh, basement episode of <laughs> Ben and the Baby. Um, we're hopefully gonna be able to maybe continue this and yeah. see if we can do some more. Do some um, more video episodes while the uh summer is going on yeah and um we're gonna try and get some more guests too it, yeah uh, it might depend on you know who it is it might be somebody famous or it might just be one of our friends uh, yeah so um we'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for listening or watching and follow us on our social medias which will be in the description and join my discord so yeah. also subscribe to our channel 
Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow so, me on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, and turn on post notifications because that that's bell. something that YouTube says. Dude, smash that subscribe button, like the video. Make sure you click the bell with the gray. Make turn from red to gray. Subscribe to a million subscribers. VidCon, baby. We're going to the last We're going to VidCon, Vegas. baby, with the, with the Hank and John Green. Hanging out with Logan Pollers. <laughs> High five. Logan. All right, have a good one, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Ah! <laughs> it's a baby, the baby, the baby.